Well, working with Biggie was amazing because um, we never really saw Martin excited about anybody that came to the set other than Biggie. And when Biggie was coming to the set, we just made sure all of us was on good behavior. <laughs> but when he came, I remember he had just been in a car accident. Something had happened and he had a cane. And when I walked on the set, he was sitting there. He was like, yo, whoa, hey. And I was like, yo, what's up, Biggie? And that's kind of what came about in the in the script. So what we do on Martin is we kind they kind of wrote the script according to what really happened and and Biggie was so cool and his aura his just his whole presence was it was like a godfather kind of presence it really was and uh he was very gracious and really really even toned very quiet you know he didn't talk a whole lot but he was very observant and very appreciative of being there and just we all had an amazing time and I'm just so happy to have been in his presence you know, relevance, I think, is all, it's, it, it, it all depends upon what was told. And, and I think there's, there's, there's so many stories to be told, you know. To me, and I try to explain to my daughter, rap wasn't about who's the sexiest and who. Rap was how we found out what happened in each other's hoods. You know, I was in Queens, they were in Brooklyn, somebody else was in the Bronx. So the rappers were, were the storytellers, they were the poets. And that's how we found out what was going on in each other's hoods. So Biggie was kind of the end of that era. You know, he, he opened us up to how, what his life was and how it was. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's kind of a, he was the last of a dying breed, unfortunately. And, um, you know, hopefully, I always say things come full circle, but, you know, to me, rap is an art. It's a it's it's a it's an art and not everybody can do it. A lot of people think they can do it, but they can't. <laughs>